challenger in black trunks. Jimmy Carter, the lightweight champion in white trunks. 15 rounds for the title. Arujo, who's a sensational boxer from Providence, Rhode Island, is a slight favorite as the fight begins. He's won 50 out of 52. At 132 and a half, he's slightly lighter than Carter, who weighed in at 135. Carter regained his world lightweight title less than a year earlier at Chicago Stadium by beating Laura Salas of Mexico over 15 rounds. New York is his home. He's 29. He's seven years older than the challenger. Look at George's jabbing. Arujo in, in black. Very good jab. Carter and White is slower, paces himself uh, more methodically. A smooth professional against a flashy Arujo. Good one-two combination. take turns popping each other's heads back. Carter likes to follow a left jab with a right uppercut. That's the end of the round. This is Carter out of his corner. Arujo is wearing the black trunks. By the fourth round of their title fight in Madison Square Garden, they've battled on fairly even terms, though on the ringside scorecards, Arujo, the favorite, is slightly ahead on points. Both men are highly experienced ring craftsmen. Dance around, occasional low blow. Each is looking for a chance to rifle through a punch when he can. Arujo using up more ring. Carter is conserving himself, standing flat-footed in the center and letting his man dance the long way around, saving himself, conserving his strength. In the exchanges, though, Carter takes good care of himself. Arujo doing enough footwork for two 15-round fights. Certainly doing more than twice as much as Carter. Good fast action. Here in Madison Square Garden as referee Al Burrow separates them. Round ends, Carter goes to his corner. There's the challenger dancing out, George Arujo. Out for round seven, he's fighting Jimmy Carter in the white trunks for the lightweight championship of the world. Now at this stage of the fight, almost the halfway mark in their title fight, Carter has pulled better than even. He's definitely landing the harder punches, and you'll note, especially in this round. He's paced himself beautifully, he let the flashy youngster fight himself out. Now he staggers him with shots to the body and head. Arujo is still dancing and jabbing, but the champion is methodically plodding after him and usually with the heavier artillery.
One good stiff punch can sometimes unravel a man more than a half a dozen light taps. Occasionally goes into a low crouch to avoid the jabs. He looks very confident. These harder punches now have their first noticeable effect. They slow down Arujo a little bit. He's still on dancing, still on his bicycle, but he seems to know he's up against a better man. Now this round is to be the turning point of the title match. Arujo, the challenger in the black trunks, Carter the champion in white, and this is the round that sees Carter really take command. His body blows have weakened Arujo. Uh, George is relatively a much slower man than he was in those earlier rounds. And Carter is picking up the pace and going after him more. Rujo was hurt by a body blow there. Rujo staggering off balance and is charged by Carter and the referee rules no knockdown. Keeper gives him a count of two. George comes back gamely. Carter clearly gets the better of him. Very exciting round. Lightweight champion Jimmy Carter is man. Arujo makes a game start as this 13th gets underway, but before it's over, he will have lost both the fight and his chance to become the champ of his division. Carter slipped. And he's setting up Arujo for the kill. Arujo's blows aren't very effective, while Carter has punished his man severely. We have a savage exchange. continues to dig away, punishing blows. Arujo's uh, blows seem to have lost a lot of steam. His little dance and jig is just a shadow of what it was at the start.
plate. Arujo is out. Two minutes and 16 seconds of the 13th round. The challenger is finished, and announcer Johnny Addy declares Jimmy Carter is still the lightweight champion of the world. Another dramatic title bout in Madison Square Garden.